Violence broke out earlier today in Umzi, in Tonkwazulu Natal, South Coast. Members of the community seem unhappy with the candidate for the local government elections. On the line, I'm joined by Police National Spokesperson Vish Naidu to tell us more details about this. Vish, thank you so much for your time this evening. What happened? Um, a very good evening to you, Faith, and thank you for this opportunity. Um, yeah, well, there was an attack uh, in Amzinto, in an area um, of, of Amzinto, and um, it's an area called Mistake Farm, where our police officers were responding to reports of an attack on a counselor. And when our police officers responded there, they were attacked by the, uh, apparently by the same community that attacked them with stones and with firearms. Um, nine of our members were injured, one of which was shot in the, in the arm and taken to hospital. And several of our vehicles, at least six of our vehicles, were damaged to, um, from the stoning as well as uh, with mm. bullet holes. Well, we understand that also community members say six people were allegedly shot by the councillor's bodyguards in the area um, of Mistake Farm. Can you confirm this? Yeah, um, this all started um, this morning when the councillor, one of the councillors was visiting a polling station and um, apparently there was a disagreement between the councillor and uh, the members of the community. The members of the community didn't want this councillor to be a councillor-elect uh, or a candidate councillor. Mm. And um, this is when the altercation broke out and the reports are that the councillor's bodyguard allegedly fired shots at the community members when they became aggressive. And the reports we got is that two people were injured and taken to hospital. We haven't yet been able to verify that. We were still trying to contain the situation in the area, which we have done now. We were able to remove all the barricades from the road leading into uh, Mistake Farm. And um, we deployed more members in the area to ensure that we don't have a repetition of this uh, incident and uh, that uh, we can stabilize the area enough to ensure, uh, a con ensure that it's conducive for a free and fair election come uh, 1st, of, uh, 1st of November. I, I got you on that. Now, Vish, when you're looking at containing the situation, can we indeed confirm that arrests have been made at this point? No, no arrests have been made. Um, at the time when the incident broke out, because firearms were being used and to avoid the potential loss of life and further serious injury, we decided that we'll just open cases and we will investigate it, identify those responsible and arrest them and bring them to book. The cases that we've opened so far, at least three attempted murder cases and cases of public violence. Uh, damage to property is also amongst that because the councillor's house was damaged uh, with bullet holes as well as all the windows were broken uh, on his premises. So cases have been registered as far as that is concerned as well. Mm. Then, Vesh, what does this say then about the need for police to jack up their resources ahead of November 1st? I mean, if incidences like this are happening, and this is just a day of special voting, you can almost anticipate the kind of situations and the kind of disruptions, potential disruptions, let me say, that may be present on the 1st of November. Do you guys as the SAPS have enough resources to contain these sporadic situations when the need arises um, so that you do not find yourselves over, in your, um, over your heads? Well, no, we definitely have the, the necessary resources. I think um, one would appreciate that there's thousands of polling stations around the country. This is but only one incident that happened, uh, which is uh, where there was uh, severe aggression uh, in the incident. Um, and, of course, we were able to contain it as quickly as it started. And uh, like I said, it started this morning, and by this afternoon, we were able to contain the situation, bring the area back to normality. We've deployed our reserve forces, as we indicated in our readiness for, uh, and preparedness for, for, the, for the election, that we would have what is called a reserve force. We have now since deployed that reserve force. We also have further members on standby should the need arise to be deployed in that area. And currently, we are, in, uh, or rather IEC officials are in negotiations mm -hmm. with the, the community members to, to see, you know, if this uh, polling station can be reopened tomorrow because after some time the polling station had to be closed today. Uh, so we, we, there's negotiations going on to, to try and have this polling station open again tomorrow for the further special vote as well as on the 1st of November for the actual votes. I have a feeling it's not going to be the last time you and I have a conversation, Vish, especially given the, yeah. the political Hopefully. climate that we find ourselves in uh, this uh, afternoon and yeah. for the next few days. Uh, Police National Spokesperson Vish Naidu giving us the latest day of uh, Umzinto.